hi everybody welcome back again to the channel my name is jessica a mommy vlogger a mommy content creator living in Niri, anambra state of nigeria and if this is your first time of stopping by on this channel you are highly welcome please support me by subscribing and also turn on the post notification for more updates and if you find this video interesting after watching please share and recommend my channel to your friends and loved ones so without wasting much time let's dive into this video properly basically i am going to start this video by talking about um, my last video like my last video on this channel prompted me to make this particular video today and i am going to read a particular comment that someone sent on my last video so the person um, is rich africa the person stated here in ghana we have been advised against mob action we lost a military man in his early 30s in 2017 i think the guy needed food that was why he went to steal so um in case if you don't know like if you are joining my channel for the very first time today i did a video about the nigerian guy that was caught where he went to steal and a particular community in ghana you know caught the guy and they also fed him but first of all they made him to clean the gutters and you know did some certain things before they now gave him food and clothes yes so i was in that video i praised this particular community that did this thing instead of you know letting the guy to die had it been that the incident happened in nigeria like if the um officers or maybe government um did not intervene that guy might have been a dead person so i tried so much to praise this particular community that did this thing they did an amazing job by letting the guy to go and they punished him corrected him in a very mild way not in a very harsh way that I might even take his life when i watched that particular video i did not play the video in my last video that i posted here because of rules and regulations of youtube so but when i watched the clips on instagram yes and some people were against the guy and also some people we are trying to see why he went to steal and all that but when i put out the video on my channel i got so many comments that stated the guy went to steal because he was hungry most people dropped that particular comment on that my last video same way that a uh, rich africa also posted which prompted me to make this particular video majority of people are praising ghana because of what they did they did the rightful thing like this particular community i am not saying that um we are all sent or maybe that we don't know what is good or we can't differentiate good from bad in as much as we are seeing or we are facing hardship and everything there are some good people living among us that's just the fact okay now looking at the current situation of nigeria like as i'm making this video today people are already doing some kind of riots people are confirming dead you know killings here and there because of okay let me just explain where the thing is happening right now in the capital city of nigeria abuja like abuja is on fire people are dying they are rioting people are dying they are killing one another we are facing lots of things like we are going through a lot a particular country they will have something they are facing they will have one or two things they are facing they will have one or two things they are dealing with and all that but as it is right now my nigeria my dear nigeria is kind of in a messy situation we don't know who is going to intervene because if you look at the government they are not even going to say anything they are not going to do it because the election is around the corner everybody's just fighting for his or her own position to you know to become the president of nigeria they don't care 
like since the killing started i don't think the president has ever even addressed the issue talk more of the vice president and all that they are all there because our vice president is coming out for um, presidential position nobody is there to talk about what is actually going on in nigeria we have three major ethnic groups the Igbo, Alsa, and Yoruba. And right now, where the riot is taking place is the northern part of Nigeria, which is Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. People are going through a lot. People are dying. And our government, they feel like, okay, no, we are not going to address the issue. If you people want to die, die. Like a lot. If this comment that rich Africa dropped in that particular video is what you guys are doing, let me tell you guys, all of you are doing the rightful thing. All of you are doing the rightful thing. I pray and hope that Nigeria will just be the same. Like Nigeria will just be that old Nigeria we are known for. I like guys. If I start talking now, some people will tell me, oh, shut up, shut up, face your front. What, why are you talking about Nigeria? I need to talk about Nigeria because I'm in Nigeria and I'm from Nigeria. And mostly people attacking me to keep quiet. They don't live in Nigeria. Like they're experiencing good life in a well-developed country and they are there where they are trying to shut me up. In life, we have freedom of speech. So you don't see things going on in Nigeria as a content creator I cannot come out and talk about it no we are facing a lot right now people are dying like people are dying I will see or I will try and find a way to insert a few seconds video for you guys to see the things going on right now in Nigeria and this particular thing is not even stopping anytime soon because nobody is there to tell them to stop. Any Nigerian will tell you that we all are hoping for a better change, a change that can make Nigeria better, to be in a rightful position, to make Nigerians to feel at home. Because, guys, I am not exaggerating. We are facing a lot. That is just the fact. We are facing a lot. I know other countries, they have their problems, but I don't think their own problems is bigger than Nigeria. Nigerian problems now hmm, are way much bigger. Hmm. God, now God, now only God go help us. So. Now only God in heaven go help us in this country. Hmm? Every blessed day, if you don't hear that this place, this place uh, someone was killed, someone was did this, someone was did that. Ah, guys, so many uncomfortable news. I am telling you, if someone is not being killed for ritual, someone was kidnapped and all that. This is what you'll be hearing. Like, and nobody will try to kind of come out, especially this our government. They will not come out and address it. The policemen, they will try to do their own thing, like maybe search help and discover each and every one of us so we are facing everything together we are facing every damn thing together we are hoping for change and i pray and hope that nigeria will be better by next year because we don't suffer we don't see things we don't chop things we're gonna make us purge for this country I don't even have much thing to say i said let me come here and you know talk about this and use it to tell you guys the current situation of nigeria please if you are coming to attack me or if you are coming with any form of attack i beg take a easy please oh. <laughs> take a easy okay or else if you drop it i'll still delete it because ha not be me and you on this channel now only me on this channel so you can't come and insult me i am telling you guys what i am facing i am telling you guys what all of us are facing here down in nigeria it is not even better and we are hoping for the best finally this is where i will bring this video to an end my name is jessica a mommy vlogger a mommy content creator living in niri Anambra state of Nigeria.
until I come your way next time. For now, take care and bye-bye.